Yoga Club. Hello and welcome to our Baby Animals Yoga Club celebration. I've got Spence here. We have all sorts of the best baby animals today. We've got pups, we've got baby seahorses, we've got baby owls and we've got baby lions or just cubs. I can't wait. Let's get right in and start and I'll be back after our first video with some shout outs. By the way, you can always email me if you want a shout out at fans at cosmickids.com. I will be starting to do your shout outs much more often and on time when you send your requests as we pause yoga club for a bit. I'll see you after this. Everyone. Welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms and crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. So let's take a look through the cosmonoculars joining our thumbs and fingers together to have a look through. Oh, look at those colours. Yes, they're so beautiful and bright and colourful. Oh, can you see it? Can you see the pic? Yes, it's a seahorse. It's a baby seahorse. It's Norris, the baby seahorse. Oh, what's Norris doing? He's doing yoga. He's doing fish pose. This is very exciting. Let's not beat around the bush. Let's get right to it and go and find Norris. Come to your knees, everybody. Take your arms out wide and give everyone at home a great big hug. Bye. Oh, hello. Who's this that's just landed on the windowsill? It's a rather magical looking bird. Standing up, folding forward, take your wings down. Now this magical looking bird has rather big blue webbed feet. It's a blue footed booby and he does a funny dance. Hello, hello, I'm Bez the booby bird. Yes, I am, I love to do me dancing. Oh, this is great. We get on the back of Bez, taking our wings down low, and he swoops them up. Ooh. Off we go, everyone. We're flying out over the trees and the hills. We wave down to our friends. Hi, friends. And down we come, down towards the beach, where we're going to hopefully meet Norris, the baby seahorse. We land in a little landing ball. We sit up tall and we say namaste to Bez, the blue-footed booby bird. Namaste. Now, to continue our journey, we pick up a lift with Popcorn the Dolphin, who's riding the waves, coming up onto your knees, crisscross your fingers, drop down onto your elbows. Now dive forward and backwards, making your dolphin clicky noises. <laughs> She drops us off in the kelp garden. Turning over, lying on your back. The kelp garden is long, long strands and fronds of seaweed that stretch right from the bottom of the ocean right to the top. Now we need to swim. So we come over onto our tummies and we swim. Using big strokes with our arms and our legs, we part the seaweed and we come to Norris, the baby seahorse's house. Standing all the way up, take your feet wide, take your arms wide and lift them up above your head, coming into house pose. And here's Norris, the baby seahorse. Coming down onto one knee, he does a little knee. Now lift up that back knee, turn yourself around and drop down onto the other knee. Standing all the way up, arms wide. Because we're such good friends with Norris, we do a twirl up in a flurry of bubbles. 
Norris is so excited because today he got invited to join the Best Fish in the Sea Club. He's never heard of it before, but it's called Best Fish in the Sea Club, so it must be the best, right? He's got his first meet-up today at the Coral Reef Cafe. He's so excited, he sings a little song. We join in with the actions. Ready? Come down to one knee. My name is Norris, I'm a tiny little fella But my nose is long and my body is so yellow I rock like a rocking horse gliding through the sea And I tell you now that I love being me Standing up I swim standing up and I may be slow But that never stops me having a go I'm the best baby seahorse you ever did see Like I said before, I love being me My tummy's round and I bob up and down And I'm made out of bony rings I like to hold on to a seaweed frond And take a rest frequently oh. I can wiggle my nose around and around I look with my eyes both up and down I'm a bright spark, clever lad, diddly dee I'll tell you again, I love being me I love being me I love being me That's right Wow! What a great song, Norris! But Norris, we'd better go because time's running out and we know you're a little bit of a slow swimmer, so come down to your knees. Let's go! Come down to your knees, everyone. Hands down, swimming up slowly, breathing in. On our way to the Coral Reef Cafe, we pass Mimi, the mermaid. Sitting with your legs out long, swish your tail around to one side. Put one hand on your fishy knee, your other hand behind you. Look behind you and look forward. She says to Norris, Bon chance, petit Norris, which means good luck, little Norris, in French. Swish your tail around to the other side. Take your other hand onto your swishy knee now and your other hand behind you, looking back behind. Looking forward, she blows him a special little good luck mermaid kiss. When Norris gets there, it looks like some of the other members of the club aren't very happy about Norris joining. A rather tough looking little crab, digger diggers over. Coming up, bent knees, hands behind you, lift up your bottom. Now digger digger, ready? Digger 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 digger. Oi you, big nose. You can't join the best fish in the sea club because your nose is too big. Then he digger diggers the other way. Digger 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 digger. And if you join, I'm going to pinch you on the nose with my crab claws. Yeah. <gasps> oh, poor Norris. Oh, he's feeling a bit upset by that, but he doesn't want to say anything. He doesn't want to upset anyone, so he carries on. Then overcome a pair of wolf fish. Coming into your dog pose, hands down, tuck your toes, lift your bottoms to the sky. Come all the way down to your knees, untuck your toes, lift up your chest. All right, Boney, you want to join the best fish in the sea club, do you? Well, uh, you can if you can show us a tree pose. <laughs> oh, Norris is quite pleased that they've asked him to show a tree pose. He's rather good at tree pose. He stands up and shows them. I put my foot on there, put my fins here, I grow my tree. There, there's my tree pose. Norris is great at tree pose. He even shows them on the other side just to show he can do it on that side as well. Swapping our legs over now, put your other foot on top, hands together, grow up tall. Yep, you see, I can do the tree pose, doing it, yep. The wolf fish seem to make a fool out of Norris. Coming back into your dog pose, lifting your bottom to the sky, dropping down to your knees, untucking your toes all the way to your belly and press up. <laughs> Only joking, Boney. You can't join the best fish in the sea club because you've got a big silly round tummy. <laughs> oh, poor Norris. This is not very nice at all. And over now is swimming a shark. Crisscross your fingers behind your back. Lift up your shark fin. She's swimming right towards Norris. Do, do, do. 
do 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 uh, excuse me, um, my name's Shona, I'm a shark. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that apparently you can't join the Best Fish in the Sea Club because apparently you're a really slow swimmer. That's what the crab and wolfish said, so sorry. I'm just telling you. See ya. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is awful. We take Norris for a little bit of a rest in an oyster shell. Sitting on your bottoms, join the soles of your feet together, holding onto your toes, folding down. This isn't the best fish in the sea club. This is the worst fish in the sea club. All of these horrible creatures are bullying Norris. That's not right. Hmm. When this happens, we need to speak to a wise grown-up friend. <gasps> And here come just the people we need. It's Tommy, the bedtime turtle. Take your legs out wide, bent knees, hands down underneath, making your flippers like a turtle. And with him is our very good friend, Squish the fish. Pointing your toes long, come down onto your elbows. Now pop, 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 pop your chest to the sky, looking up to the ceiling and all the way back behind you. But Squish, as usual, is using his tail as a surfboard, standing up. So, he looks a bit like a penguin. Hey, dude, Norris, why the long face? What's going on? Norris is all huddled up. Well, I wanted to join the best fish in the sea club, but they said I can't because my nose is too long and my tummy's round and... And I'm not very strong at my swimming. Tommy, the bedtime turtle, thinks this is awful. Taking your legs out, bend your knees, hands down, making your flippers. Oh, Norris, you're a wonderful seahorse. What do you think about this? Norris sits up. He unravels his tail, sitting up tall. Well, I quite like my nose and my tummy. And... I don't like swimming fast because if I swim fast, I get all tired and stressed out. Squish reclines in his fish pose, coming back down to your elbows, point those toes, pop, pop, pop your chest to the sky. Dude, you know it. You don't need to be in this club. Best fish in the sea club? It's not at all. Why don't you start your own club? At this, Norris gets excited. Yeah. I'm going to start my own club. Coming back onto one knee, into your horse pose, lifting your hands above your head. Yes, I'm going to start it and I'm going to call it the I Love Being Me Club. And anyone can join, whether they've got a long nose or a short nose, or a little tummy or a big tummy, or whether a fast or a slow swimmer. You've just got to be nice in the I Love Being Me Club. <gasps> Norris was over the moon, but coming over was Shona the shark. Coming back onto your belly, crisscross your fingers, making your shark fin lift it up. Do, 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 do. Uh, excuse me, uh, it's Shona again. Yeah, I'm a shark. Um, I just wanted to ask, um, could I join the I Love Being Me club? Because I'm just really fed up of being in that other club. They kept telling me what to do and what to say, and I didn't like it at all. Norris is delighted. Coming onto the other knee now, lifting yourself up, arms up above your head. Yes, Shona, you can join. You're very welcome. Soon, all of the animals and creatures from the Best Fish in the Sea Club started to join Norris's I Love Being Me Club. He'd done it. He'd started his own club and he was delighted. It was time for us to go, so we blow our bubbly kisses. <laughs> to all of our friends, and we swim up back to the surface of the sea. When we get there, we find our friend, Bez, the blue-footed booby, standing up. We bow all the way forward, taking our wings down, and then we swoop them up and high. We're off being transported back to our house, back to the warmth. We lie down on Bez's back in all of his feathers and let our bodies rest and relax for a moment as we think about the story we've just done with Norris. How 
wow, he went through some really awful things. Bullying. Saying those things is never okay. Or getting someone else to say nasty things about you is never okay. And if it happens, and it might happen to a friend, you might see it happening, you must always go and tell a grown-up. And you don't need to worry about being a telltale at all. You're not. You're helping. Because that bully probably needs some help too. They sometimes do these things because they feel weak inside. So they need to feel more powerful by saying these things about others to make them look weak. But it's not okay. And we must always go and tell a grown-up when it happens. We rest back in this peaceful time. So pleased for Norris. We love the I Love Being Me Club. What a fun thing. But now we wiggle our fingers and our toes. We bring our knees up to our chest and we roll over onto our sides, slowly coming up to sit with our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming on the Norris the Baby Seahorse adventure with me. You were great. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. Welcome back! Wasn't that the best? Now to your messages. Hello to Leah and happy fifth birthday, Leah, for August the 4th. I know you will have a brilliant time, no doubt, and you're starting at Fort Hunt Elementary School in Alexandria, Virginia. And it's okay to feel a bit shy and nervous about it and excited. Those feelings will pass like all feelings do. Have a little look at Be The Pond. That'll help you keep your feelings in a good place and stops them from taking over. Keep taking care of yourself with the peace outs and the zen dens and keep snuggling your stuffies, Bum Bum, Pandy and Roji. And when you feel nervous, imagine all the people there are cats and pandas and unicorns. Your favourites. Big love to you. Hello, huge hello to Claire, who sends me a huge hello and a great idea, Claire, to do Pink Panther. Love to you. That's amazing. And to Amy. Hello to Nimai, who is four and would love a Paw Patrol yoga. Yes, I know that. That would be great. I would too, Nimai, and I'm hoping I can. And hello to Maddie, Ellie and Willow and your wonderful video hello and request to do Tinkerbell. It was very exciting seeing how much you'd like me to do that. I'll do my best to make it happen. And thank you so much for your beautiful video message. Now to our next baby animal video. I'll see you after this for more shout outs. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now, we always start in the same way, and that's by sitting on our bottoms and crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts to say our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. Shall we find out who our story is about today? Yes, let's look through the cosminoculars. Bringing your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. Wow, it's beautiful. What amazing colours. Can you see the picture? What is it? It's a baby lioness. It's Lulu, the baby lioness cub. Yay! What's Lulu doing? Oh, she's doing yoga. She's doing flamingo pose. 
This is so exciting. It means we're off to Tanzania in Africa. Let's get ourselves ready for our long aeroplane journey. First, our necks. We look over one side and then the other. Over one side and then the other. We nod all the way forwards and all the way up. All the way forwards and all the way up. We tick our head one side and tock it to the other. Tick it and tock it and tick it and tock it and go all the way around like the hands of a clock. And the other way too. Oh, that feels lovely in our necks. Now it's time for our shoulders. We roll our shoulders round and round. We lift them up and put them down. We lift up one, we lift up two. We put down one, we put down two. Going up, up, a down, a down, up. Up, a down, a down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yay! There we go, everyone. Now, I think we need to pack a backpack. So we put our legs out long and we take our fingers to our toes, bending our knees a little bit to open it up. We take our arms out wide, we twist one way to get our tent because we're going to be camping. Mm. Here it goes. Perlonk. Lovely. We take our arms out wide again and we twist the other way and we get our sun cream because it's really, really hot there. We take it and we check the lids on. Lovely. Put it in. Ooh. Lift your arms up high and close your backpack. Ooh. Now we give everyone at home a great big hug goodbye. Coming up onto our knees, we stretch out wide and we give them all a cuddle. Bye everybody! Time to catch a plane. We take our arms wide again and drop down onto one hand and wave at the sky. We bring one foot in front of our knee and stretch our back leg out behind us going meow. And the other side too, coming back to the middle with your knees and your arms all stretched out. We come down onto the other side, wave at the sky and bring our other foot in front of our knee and stretch our back leg out behind us. Ready? And we've arrived in Tanzania. Wow, it is hot here. So we put on our sun cream. Reach into your backpack. Ooh, 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 got it. And stand up. Here we go. Blob, 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 blob. Rub it on your legs. All the way down on our legs. And now more. Blob, 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 blob. Rub it on your arms. Oh, yes, that's it. All over our arms. And our bodies ready. Blob, 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 blob. Ooh, all over our bodies. Yes. And our faces. Ready? Blob, 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 blob. All over our faces. That's it. Now we've got all our sun cream on. We are ready. But there's a clever thing we can do to cool ourselves down. Can you make your tongue into a straw by curling up the sides like this? Now suck in. And it makes our mouth feel all cold. If we can't do that curly thing with our tongue, we can do a big smile like this. And we can suck in the air through our teeth. Ready? Ah, that's better. That helps us feel all lovely and cool. We get into our Jeep. Sitting down, take your legs out long and pop your seatbelt on. Start the engine. We're going over to one side. We're going over to the other side. We're going down a hill. We're going up a hill. We've arrived at our campsite. Yay! Let's put up our tent. We stand up and we put up one pole. Boop. Two poles. Boop. Three poles. Poles. Yay! Now we check the zip works all the way down the front. Ready? Zzzz. Yes, 
Now, does it go up again? Let's try. Uh-oh, it's got stuck. Uh, let's go back down again. Zzzp. Let's try that again, shall we? Here we go. Zzzp. Oh, I don't believe it. It's got stuck again. Back down we go. Zzzp. Hopefully third time lucky. Let's try again. Zzzp. Phew, -wee. thank goodness for that. Ooh, but we're a bit smelly after all of that. Pooey, we need to give ourselves a little bit of a wash in the river. So we put our clothes in the river and we wash them like they're in a washing machine. Crisscross your legs and crisscross your fingers and put them behind your head. Then we go from side to side saying, wishy washy, wishy washy, wishy washy, woo. Then we dry our clothes by the campfire with tumble dryer fingers, blowing them as they go round. Ready? <gasps> Yay! Oh, we're so tired though. We want to meet Lulu first thing in the morning, so we decide to get some sleep. We crawl into our tents and we get all snuggled up in our sleeping bags. Coming all the way down, curling up. Ah, oh, sleepy, sleepy, sleepy time. In the morning, we're woken up by the sounds of the birds tweeting. Sitting up, cross your legs, wrap your arms around you and... Open your arms again and close them in your way. It must be time to get up. We come out of our tent to find <gasps> Lulu, the baby lioness. Here she is, but she hasn't learnt how to roar yet, so she just sticks out her tongue. Coming up onto your knees, after three, we're going to stick out our tongue and do our big lion face. Ready? One, two, three. Everyone keeps making fun of me because I haven't learnt how to roar yet. I got really, really angry. And then I came for a little walk and I found you. Maybe you can help me learn how to roar. We can help Lulu, can't we, everyone? Yes. We have an idea. Lulu, we're going to climb up this tree. You're going to stay at the bottom. When we get to the top, you roar as loudly as you can so we can hear you. Ready? We climb up the tree. Standing up, everyone. Here we go. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. We get to the top of the tree and we put one foot on top of the other, our hands together at our hearts, and we grow up tall and we listen for Lulu. Hmm. Down at the bottom, Lulu gives her roar a try. Ready? One, two, three. Oh dear, poor Lulu. Back up the tree, everyone. Try with the other foot now on top, your hands together, growing up tall. We listen carefully, but it's no good. We can't hear her roar. We jump down from the tree. One, two, three. Doing. Lulu's getting really angry. I'm never going to be able to roar. I'm so, so bad at roaring. It's horrible. But Lulu, getting angry at yourself won't help. Let's take some deep breaths to feel better and calmer. That's better. Now you can think clearly again. Let's go see Ernie, the baby elephant at the watering hole. He can really make a big trumpet sound out of his trunk. Maybe he'll help. We stand up and we take our trumpety trunk out and like Ernie, we do a big trumpety trump. Ready? <laughs> Lulu would love to be able to make a sound as big as Ernie's, so she tries. Coming down to your knees again, ready? One, two, three. <sighs> but it's no good. Lulu gets so angry that Ernie can make a bigger sound than her that she ties his trunk in a knot. Arms out wide, crisscross one under the other and wait.
wave with your underneath arm, then swizzle your arms round. Ernie's trunk is in a knot. What did you do that for? Poor Ernie. Lulu, you can't do that to Ernie. You need to count to ten and calm down, taking a deep breath. Lulu tries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> she unties Ernie's trunk. Standing up, take your arms back into that swizzly position and untie them. Yes. <gasps> oh, thanks for untying my trunk, Lulu. Lulu says sorry for being so mean and taking her anger out on poor Ernie. From the trees jumps little Mindy, the baby chimp. <gasps> oh, <laughs> I couldn't help overhearing that you're having a problem with your roar. Well, what I do is I do big monkey jumps and I do a big monkey call at the top. I'll show you three times. Ready? <gasps> we love monkey jumps, so we join in with Mindy. Up on your toes, ready to jump and call like a monkey. One, two, three. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. And again. One, two, three. Ooh, ah, ah. Last time. One, two, three. It's Lulu's turn. She's ready to go. One, two, three. One, two, three. And again. One, two, three. She's still a little bit grumpy, but at least she had fun doing the monkey jumps. All of a sudden, around the corner comes George the baby giraffe. Standing up, put one foot forward, one foot back, and lift your arms up tall like a giraffe's neck. Now giraffes don't make any sound, nothing at all. And little George has something he needs to tell Lulu. Lulu, you need to warn everyone. The volcano's about to erupt. Oh. This is Lulu's moment. She now needs to learn how to roar. <gasps> she takes big giant lion steps up the hill. Standing tall, step forward. Big step. And again, big step. Lulu gets herself ready. Coming down to your knees, everyone. After three, she takes a big deep breath. and prepares for the roar of her life. One, two, three. <laughs> the ground begins to rumble and shake. Lulu has done it. She managed to roar right when it counted. All of the animals hear her for miles around. The flamingos hear her, standing up, reaching tall, seeing if you can hold on to one foot and maybe hopping a bit. Was that a baby lioness? Yes, I think she was roaring about the volcano. Right, come on, off we go. Hoppity hoppity hop. The other animals that hear her, the snakes slithering around, coming onto our tummies, everyone. Sounds like a baby lioness. She was roaring about a volcano erupting. Come on, snakes, let's slither away. The crocodiles hear her, stretching out long, opening their jaws. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that. That was, uh, that was baby lioness, right? Yeah, she was roaring about some, uh, some volcano. Volcanoes erupt. Right, come on, better get moving. on. Come on, off, go, go, go. And the camels heard her. Coming back up to two knees, everyone. Put your hands behind your back and press your bottom forward, looking up to the sky, and do a big raspberry to the ceiling. <laughs> well, that's charming of the camels. All of the animals heard little Lulu, including her mummy, her daddy, her brothers and her sisters, who were so proud of their little baby lioness cub. 
She had done it. She had learnt how to roar. And along the way, she learnt how to cope with getting frustrated and angry, which was really good. But we'd better get out of here. <gasps> Floating down towards us is a hot air balloon. That's how we're going to get home. Yay! We cross our legs and we need to blow it up again so it's nice and full. We bring our hands around our mouth and we blow. <laughs> we start to float, saying our special little floaty rhyme. Tick, tock, like a clock, until I find my centre. <gasps> wow, we've done it. We're floating away. We wave down to Lulu and all of the other animals as they hide and prepare themselves for the volcano. We lie back in our hot air balloon, feeling pleased at how we have helped Lulu today find her roar. But what's more important is we've helped Lulu learn how to deal with it when she gets all frustrated and angry. Being unkind towards herself isn't going to help her. But if she can, in that moment when she's angry, breathe. Breathe slowly and deeply. Count to ten. Maybe take a little walk if she needs to for some fresh air. She will clear her head. Well done, Lulu. Well done for finding your voice. We've all got a voice. And we all need to let it out sometimes. We relax here in our hot air balloon. But then it's time for us to wake up again. So we wiggle our fingers and our toes. We hug our knees into our chest. And roll over onto our sides to come up to sitting again with our legs crossed and our hands together at our heart, just like we started. And we finish with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming on the adventure and for helping Lulu with her anger. You did so well. Come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye. <laughs>these baby animals are just so inspiring aren't they spence he can't keep away i love it now to more messages hello to ava in utah who wanted to share that her favorite piece out is the snowman one. Oh, i'm so glad it's a lovely piece out thanks for the idea to do a superman yoga club i need to add superman to my list of ideas for superhero kids yoga in space i'm glad to hear your whole family enjoy their yoga Hello to Isaac, who just turned seven on the 2nd of June. Happy birthday, Isaac. Isaac is from Des Moines, I hope I said that right, in Iowa, and requests yoga adventures about Dogman and Cat Kid from the graphic novels by Dan Pil Pilkey. Is that right? Yeah, Dav Pilkey. There we go. I need to check that one out. Also, Narwhal and Jelly, which sounds wonderful. I love that your mum enjoys the yoga too and does my accent. That's so much fun. Big love to you both. Hello to June from Portland, Oregon, who has just turned five on June the 8th. Happy birthday, June. Happy birthday, June. I'm glad that the yoga gives your mum a chance to take a shower and you enjoy the Halloween yoga adventure best. More Halloween yoga coming soon. And hello to Grace G, who is 13, and brother Tate, who is five on May the 3rd. Happy birthday, Tate. Grace Grace and Tate enjoy the adventures on the Cosmic Kids app. Woohoo! And Tate especially enjoys the Dinosaur Park adventure, which is amazing. Thank you so much for writing in, Grace. Now to our next video, and when we come back, our final messages for Yoga Club. The Cosmic
Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Turtle Pose. Coming to sit on our bottoms, taking our legs out wide, keeping our knees nice and bent. We bring our hands down in between our legs and then we slide our hands underneath our legs so they come out the other side like two little turtle flippers. Yes! Now turtle pose is wonderful for quieting our minds, which makes it a wonderful pose to do to chill out or before bedtime. It's also very good for getting nice and open in our hips. <laughs> now, just like a turtle, we hang out. We take it slow. We breathe. We let our hips open. There's no hurry. No worries. We're just hanging out here, turtly enjoying the moment. Turtle pose. Welcome back my friends. We are really celebrating the baby animals today and now we just need a few more shout outs to finish it off. Hello to Jeff who is four from California and loves the superhero kids yoga in space and the yoga safaris. I love your ideas Jeff to do Captain America and Spider-Man. I'll definitely add those and great that you do yoga twice a day. Ideas for evening yoga for you. Try Bop the Alien, Fernando the Silver Fox and and Tommy the Bedtime Turtle. Also on the app, I think we have a section called Bedtime, which should have all the best evening-based videos. Have a little look. Thanks for the message, Jeff. Hello to Zilling, who is six and lives in Taipei, Taiwan. Thanks for the idea to do an Elsa and Anna yoga story. We could really have fun with that. I keep, I will keep trying to make all these wishes come true. I will do my best. Hello to June, who is five and lives in Minnesota. June would like a balloon yoga video and sent a brilliant picture of her doing spider pose. Amazing, June. Final hello to Chloe, who is just lovely and says she just loves all the videos so much. Well, you are welcome, Chloe. I hope you keep watching and enjoying them. And I'll keep making them, if you do. Sending lots of love. Now to our next yoga club video and I'll see you next time for our final yoga club. Bye! Hello everyone. Welcome to the Cosmic Kids Zen Den, your place to feel all calm and relaxed and to help our minds stay healthy and happy. Now this is Minnie. She's a little dog who is lovely and relaxed here in my arms. She's been looking forward to her Zen Den and she hopes that it will help you. So let's get comfy and ready for your Zen Den time. Sit with your legs crossed, your hands resting on your knees, your back nice and straight. And let's enjoy a big deep breath in through our nose and out through our mouth. <sighs> Lovely. Now Minnie, we need to get the Zen Den ready, don't we? So first, let's have some sounds. Oh, look at all of these, Minnie. They're nice, aren't they? Let's pick a couple to make it feel all calm and cosy in here. Look, a warm, crackling fire. And, ooh, a ukulele tune. Now for the smell. Oh, great. Look at these. These are some of Minnie's favourites. Look, Minnie. Salmon, oh, roast chicken, oh, look, this one's your favourite. It's the bacon smell. Let's go for that. Wow, that smell makes me feel really hungry. Now, 
back to Minnie and why she's here with us today. When Minnie was younger, she was a puppy. She was always busy running around, jumping on everything, exploring and playing, and chasing our bigger dog Spence around the house. While Minnie was a puppy, we helped her learn how to use her attention so she can watch, listen, come to us when we call, sit, lie down, walk alongside us and do all sorts of clever tricks like giving you her paw. It was important to help Minnie learn these things when she was a puppy because when we're young, our minds are really good at learning things. And by training her attention, Minnie has been able to learn lots of new things. Maybe you know a dog who can do some great tricks too. When we train our attention, we too can become very good learners. So we do well at school and we can learn to do all sorts of cool things. But how do we do it? It sounds easy, but attention can be there one second and gone the next. Sometimes our attention flits around like a busy butterfly. Have you noticed your attention doing that? Doing the exercises here in the Zen Den and the Cosmic Kids Yoga Adventures will certainly help train your attention so it gets stronger and you can use it for longer. But like a puppy, like Minnie used to be, oh dear, it takes training and practice. So as well as doing Cosmic Kids videos, here are a few other fun ideas you can do to train your attention. Colour in a picture and keep colouring until you finish the whole thing. Make a Lego model from start to finish. Listen to some music and lift your thumb each time you hear a new instrument. Learn a song by listening to it and remembering the words bit by bit. Read a storybook or picture storybook and afterwards see how much of it you can remember without looking back at the book. Draw something in your house, a fruit bowl, a plant or a vase of flowers. Now for the hard one. Sit, close your eyes and breathe in and out slowly, ten times. This one is the hardest. It's the doing it slowly part that really tests you. Doing it fast is easy. When you do these things, see if you can notice when your attention wanders and then bring it back to the thing you are doing again. When you do this, you are training your attention. In a couple of them, you'll be training your memory as well. So you get a gold star for those. <laughs> you'll know when your attention is wandering. You'll think things like, Oh, I wonder what's for dinner. I'm bored. Or maybe I can tell my friends about Minnie, the puppy. Oh, what's that over there? Funny little thoughts. That's just your mind doing its thing. But when you bring your attention back, you eventually make your mind stronger. Thank you, Minnie, for helping understand about our attention. It really helps us. And keep up the practice to become a true Zen Den master. Bye-bye. <laughs>